I'm relatively new to theater in East West, as, but um, let's see, in 2006, I'd been writing screenplays like everyone else in LA, and um, I kind of hit a wall writing-wise, so my wife suggested, why don't you take a playwriting class? And so there was the David Henry Wong a playwriting class that East West Players had offered, and I, why not? I got nothing else going, so took that class and I wrote Ixnay, which ended up a couple of years later, 2009, uh, hitting the main stage here. And writing Ixnay, it, it kind of opened up this whole new door that I never even imagined I would enter go, or go through, so. Well, I'm the literary manager at East West, so I supervise the David Henry Wong Writers Institute. So when Paul took his first class, that's when I became aware of, uh, uh, you know, his voice. You know, he's very funny and, and surprisingly <laughs> twisted. Twisted. In a, <laughs> in a really sweet, family-friendly way. Yeah, right. It's a weird combination, but it's like perfect for, for us. So. Um, um, we were looking for more comedies at the time, so you can mix up the season, you know, because not everything uh, uh, can or should be, you know, sort of serious deep dark drama, though some should be, right? And so that's how uh, I came to develop and then direct Ixne. And then uh, once he had written Wrinkles, it was sort of like, uh, yeah, there's more where that came from. So <laughs> since we already knew each other and we're very comfortable with each other, it's kind of grew out of that relationship. The, the play is about a mother and son who find out that grandpa is a porn star. And he and it's based on a real phenomenon, right? Yes, in Japan. You? <laughs> <laughs> uh, elder porn does exist in Japan. There I think you did you read an article or something? Yes, like I read it in 2008 article on MSN um, about real a, news. Real news. A uh, little, br yeah, brief article. Shige Shige Shigeo uh, Takuda. Takuda. Yeah. 73 years old. He had been um, retired. I think he was in a banker or something. And he had a heart attack. And then a couple years later, someone introduced him to this elder porn world. And he started to act in it. And all of a sudden, he becomes this uh, famous porn star, elder porn star. And a cultural phenomenon and um, also not only that but um, he's also looked up to as kind of a hero, a legend among all the seniors in Japan. I had always wanted to do a story about my dad. He's uh, and back in 2009 when I started writing this uh, he'd been going he'd been having trouble with his lady friend, a relationship, which was odd because <laughs> I've got two daughters and you know with the nieces and nephews but we're all looking at grandpa like how come he's the only one with you know acting like a teenager he's got these problems of you know is he dating uh, so I always thought well, wouldn't it be interesting to see or just kind of shape a story around his him being 70 he was 75 at the time no 76 or 77 of him getting back into this dating world. And then I re recalled back this article about Mr. Takuda, and it's like, I just, just blending the two stories together. And that's how I came up with Wrinkles. So for me, I mean, that's the key, you know, to making this uh, 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 laugh out loud, but also about sort of uh, some of the deeper issues in, in families. You know what I mean? And, and, uh, and also sex. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah, I think everyone, yeah. everyone can use a sort of more healthy attitude towards sex. Do you know what I mean? I don't just mean Asian American culture. I mean American culture in general. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We, we lean towards, I think, the, the prudy side. And it's already the 21st century. And the Europeans laugh at us. Do yeah. you know what I mean? They're like, you guys are so repressed. And you know what? Repression's overrated. <laughs> As is guilt, but that's a different that's <laughs> topic, right? So part of that is, is what this is about, is the, the, the mother and son, like anyone, you know, react sort of, you know, oh my goodness, right? And then over the course of the play, there's innuendo, there's hopefully some very funny set pieces involving mm, toys, toys, shall we say? Uh, <laughs> Props. <laughs> and, but, but eventually it's about sort of laughing all about that, but then sort of understanding that maybe it's not such a horrible thing. Maybe it's even a good thing, you know, that, that people come to understand each other, but also stay uh, uh, healthy about it and sexy about it, even into their 70s, you know? So in that sense, I, I think it's a, it's a cool message, a funny message. The character says, uh, Grandpa, 73, which I am, 73, so is my role, already, yeah. <laughs> just the age. <laughs> but uh, I just 
it was so unbelievable. But it's happening. Yeah. This story, what's happening, it's actually, I mean, once I, got, I saw the, uh, uh, the, the man who, who's actually a porn star in 73 or whatever, porn star in Japan, I said, oh, okay, this is actually happening. And from there I could uh, accept it. But again, it's a good family. It's, uh, we're having a lot of fun and uh, a lot of improvs. And, and Jeff, is, as the director, is quite, uh, what I, I put it now as one of the top, for me, top ten act directors I've worked with. It's a family-friendly play about porn. <laughs> what more can you ask for?